What is going on everyone? John here with Clean Cuts Lawn and Property Care and I'm going to tell you today how I made $9,000 with my first year in landscaping. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so basically uh, with working with my truck, a couple of tools I had purchased this year and myself uh, with a little bit of hired help on the side uh, for labor, um, I was able to do the zero to $9,000 uh, with not working every single weekend this summer. Um, and I'm not talking this past winter, I'm just talking this summer. So over the past, uh, uh, I'd say about six months, let's say six or seven months. Um, so basically, um, Really excited how this summer came out. I really want to make a whole entire series out of this channel on um, basically the breakdown of how I became a legitimate business, uh, how I do my paperwork, uh, paperwork, you know, what I have, uh, basically an Excel book. Uh, I'll break it down in a video if you guys want to see that. Um, but I work a nine to five job and, you know, I couldn't do anything after work. Uh, so the weekends were the only options I really had. So with that being said, let's jump into kind of an overview of what my summer was. So a lot of you might be wondering uh, what experience did I have going into this? I had absolutely no experience going to landscaping. Um, that is why I kept my jobs extremely simple and basic. Um, I kept it to a few things that I have listed on my business card, which are um, for the most part mulching, uh, putting tree borders around trees. Um, I will do edging of driveways and I will lay down stone, I will do weeding, uh, tree trimming, uh, very small tree removal, but very, very basic things uh, that didn't require a lot of equipment. I didn't want to have any trailer that I had to pull, um, as well as I didn't want to go out and I didn't have the money to go and buy uh, you know, a $12,000 excavator, um, which is probably more like $30,000. Uh, I didn't have the money to spend on something like that. So. I bought the most basic tools, uh, such as rakes, shovels, um, a couple of Milwaukee tools, um, but pretty much everything that I could fit in the back of my truck. And um, that's how I pretty much got started and why I decided to go with the types of jobs that I did. And for a lot of you starting out, you may be wondering, how am I gonna get jobs? Uh, you know, where am I gonna look? Um, but that's a nice thing about having a full-time job. Um, or if you wanted to do this by yourself, trust me, it's uh, definitely doable to do a full-time job off of this. Hopefully in the future, I will be able to do that. Um, but pretty much figuring out jobs, uh, you reach out to all the people you know, um, as far as relatives and everything, uh, post it on Facebook. Um, and then from there, you pretty much get word of mouth. Um, I did run a few Facebook ads. I will get into that into other videos um, But I really only got one job this year off of a Facebook ad and the rest of them were by word of mouth um, So it's kind of like a six or seven to one um, Is word of mouth jobs when you're at this size um, But yeah, that's that's pretty much for the most part um, how you're going to get jobs is just getting your name out there um, a lot of people go door to door and you know, they would uh, basically try to knock on doors leave business cards. I didn't do any of that uh, We have the beautiful thing of social media these days and you can pretty much just you know post something on Facebook Your friends will tell other friends and then it'll just be kind of like a snowball effect and you're gonna get a lot of business that way And as far as time management goes um, Did have a lot of weekends uh, where we were busy um, had a lot of weddings to go to this year uh, because everything was postponed for COVID um, but as far as time management, I would pretty much keep all of my jobs uh, to know where I could do them in 16 hours or I could get one of my friends to help me if I figured it was going to take uh, whatever 30, you know, 35, 36 hours I figured it was going to take me. Well, then I would get one of my friends to help me and uh, in a couple days, if we both put in, you know, 10 hour days, we'd be able to get it done uh, in a weekend. And that was my main goal was to be able to get done every single job in a weekend. Um, for instance, if somebody wanted me to uh, redo their whole entire lawn, um, I didn't have the equipment to do it, uh, nor did I have the time. Um, I told them I only work weekends and unfortunately I can't do it. And that's kind of where you um, make the decision of what jobs you want to take and what jobs you don't want to take. 
Um, so as far as I have had jobs where I've had two of my friends helping me. Um, so, you know, we're all working for, uh, that'd be what, uh, 10 hours a day is 30 hours in a day. Um, and then you can add maybe two people the next time. So you, you, are looking at probably, you know, I don't know, 50 to 60 hours, uh, is what you could in reality do on a weekend. Um, but those jobs are also paying, you know, good money. So you're able to afford to hire some help. Um, but it, it's very simple help. It's not, uh, you know, you don't have to hire somebody that can, you know, run an excavator or you don't even have to hire somebody that uh, is a master at trimming hedges. Um, you basically just need somebody to help you unload mulch or you need somebody to uh, help you pull some weeds out of the uh, flower bed. And then as far as like trimming hedges um, and kind of the bigger decisions uh, fall on you. But as far as manual labor, um, you can pretty much find anyone to help you. And I was paying my guys $20 an hour, uh, which a lot of people are very excited to work for that. Um, so yeah, as far as uh, time management, um, pretty much everything, keep it to a weekend. And if you have to go back a couple hours after work, it's really not a big deal, especially when you know it's light out till nine o'clock during the summertime. And guys, I mainly just wanted to keep this video short, kind of like an introduction of uh, the beginning of this YouTube channel. Um, I did have weekends. Uh, I've had three weekends that I've done three thousand um, dollars. Obviously, you have your sales tax, your income tax. Uh, you have your write-offs, but you also have a lot of stuff you have to pay for. Um, but I've had and you know all of your uh, workers, um, a lot of stuff. But um, I've had you know multiple weekends that I've been able to do three thousand dollars plus in a weekend, um, and I wasn't even really hunting for those jobs. Uh, but I'm able to bid them at a higher rate. And uh, because I do have a full-time job, um, you obviously have to provide the best service. Um, you show up professional, you show up with your logo, um, and you have you show up on time, you message people, you know, you have to provide a really good customer service, but um, you can charge a premium rate if, you know, you take pride in what you do. And, uh, but as far as, <clears throat> as far as uh, income, it was a very good season because um, I really didn't know what this season was gonna bring. And uh, I mean, looking at looking back at it and looking forward, I would like to double that uh, to next year to be able to make 18,000 on the weekends. Hopefully we'll have a little bit less of uh, weddings. And then, you know, at that time, I'm gonna be able to work more weekends. But like I said, I didn't work every single weekend this summer. Um, there's probably only five or six weekends that I worked and I was able to do uh, $9,000 net. So in future videos, I'm going to get into, you know, the tool breakdown of what I have for tools, um, pretty much, you know, how I go through bidding my jobs, uh, you know, how I market things, um, how I keep my books uh, in organize, uh, an organized fashion. Um, and I am a registered DBA. Um, I did get a certification as a business owner. Um, so I can talk you through the process of how to do that. Um, I have done pretty much every step to be a legitimate business. I'm fully insured um, and getting business cards and everything. Uh, so if you wanted to know more a little bit about that process, um, I can definitely, you know, do a video on that. Uh, but I just wanted to say for uh, my first year, I am extremely uh, grateful that I was able to do what I was um, in this first year because had I not thought of this and I didn't start it uh, right in prime time in spring. Um, so honestly, we're talking fall, uh, no fall cleanups, uh, no spring cleanups. Um, I didn't do any fall cleanups this year. Um, you know, I'm not doing gutter cleaning. I'm not doing pressure washing. Um, I am considered uh, clean cuts lawn and property care, um, but I haven't, I mowed one lawn. Um, I was planning on doing lawns, uh, but with weather and everything, I kind of just fell more into landscaping. Um, so uh, I'm pretty much more considered a landscaping company than anything, uh, but that's just kind of the nature of the business. That's kind of what the niche fell into. Um, but yeah, uh, as far as what I do uh, or have done this year uh, was basically uh, weeding flower beds, uh, putting down stone, putting down you know filter fabric, uh, basically uh, mulching, uh, edging, hedging, uh, you know, did some cedar hedges. Uh, so, you know, very simple stuff like that, guys. You don't need a whole lot of tools to do it. Um, as long as you have a vehicle to do it or as long as they can pull a trailer, you can do it. Um, 
So yeah, I just, uh, I'd like to make a whole series out of this YouTube channel and kind of help anyone that is looking either to start a business or they want to find out how to make extra money. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to bullshit it. It is very taxing on your body, um, but that is why you can charge a premium rate. Uh, so, you know, it's very labor intensive work. Um, but as long as you're willing to do it, you can make a good amount of money off of it. So until next time, guys, this is John from Clean Cut Salon and Property Care. If you like this video, please like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, do all that good stuff. Um, I'm hopefully going to post a video every week. If you have anything specific you want to see, please drop it in the comments. And until next time, guys, catch you later.